And with our teams now in banning phase, now sitting on border. IGP Academy, like I said, starting the attack. Therefore, IGP Behemoth banning our first operator, which indeed will be an uh, offensive operator. And, <coughs> well, maybe it will be the Maverick, but no. As it's usual for border, I'm sitting on something and I don't know what. Uh, as it's usual for border, it's going to be the Lion Ban coming out first. Our second ban of today will be the Buck, so that's those two gone. Buck who is sometimes used to uh, get those banded batteries from down below when you've got them posted in Armory Archives. So yeah, he's going to be missing. There's nothing you can do against that Mira. Also our third uh, victim of our banning uh, kill streak today. Well, not a huge surprise here. Mira is also uh, always missing, and so is Clash. Clash, our big angry woman? Yes, it is a woman. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was confused for a second there. A big angry woman with the shield is going to be missing as well. And with that, we will start immediately to go to our first defense with... Uh, my god, both have AGP name tags. Uh, that should be Behemoth on the right side. IGP Behemoth starting on the defense and going to Armory Lockers Archives. Bandit, Valkyrie, Jaeger, Echo and Maestro coming out for the defense. Sophia, Blitz, Thatcher, Thermite and Ibana attacking. And uh, just a short reminder to chat again if you've come uh, to the stream afterwards. Uh, please a, keep it in English, or if you're typing this in Italian, be careful that everyone is keeping it PG clean, because I'm not able to clearly chat if it is in Italian, because, well, although I had Latin, Latin isn't really Italian, isn't it? So, Jekyll coming out for Entei, switching off the Blitz, and I definitely saw a dock, I think, for Valkyrie coming out for the defensive side. There is indeed no Valkyrie, so I'm going to assume I'm right. As I always do. And uh, with that, IGP Behemoth readying up their defense for purposes of me making this easy. I think I'm just going to call them Behemoth and Academy. But seeing that I'm not listening to myself, I'm probably still going to call them IGP Behemoth and Academy. And probably sometimes also IGP, which is going to make things uh, not all the way easier. But, uh,. Well, we have to manage with, uh, well, I think four of six teams in the bracket uh, being from IGP, which uh, is something. Jack right now playing as the Jäger, trying to just set up his last ADSs. And uh, Arizuti together with Shizui, just holding back in the office. And I'm also right now going to apologize for every name I am going to butcher. Like I said, I never actually spoke Spanish, uh, Spanish, <laughs> I'm sorry, Italian. And I think most of the names are probably going to be somewhat based on the language, which, well, I do not speak at all. Well, Entei definitely isn't, but I can't say I haven't really played Pokemon for too long. I'm not a shooter kind of guy. Still, I think I'm calling him the, the right name, Entei. Right now on Jekyll, it's just <laughs> my name game isn't strong, and they're just trying to go in. And Troshi together with Mr. 19, problem isn't Troshi, as Ibana just creates choke points if she wants to go through. Still, there's Tattoo to open up to just create a wall, or oh, a hole in that reinforced wall to get through. Entei now taking the lead, trying to see if he can find anyone as still conquer. He has one of his drones up, actually bringing up the supernova and the pistol on Echo. Don't know what's that about, but if that is actually working out, that is some, one of the, well, not something I really see too often. Flashbang smokes now coming in. The ADS will take care of most of them. The diffuser now on site too will have some troubles with that, but will be killed by Conker through the wall. Entei at least getting the refrag. There's still Luke. He still has one of his evil eyes up. Atrochi getting the kill against Shizui, bring this all to a 4v3. Diffuser will be planted soon. Azuti still staying downstairs. Needs to get up right now. Still, there's Jack, still completely downstairs on Jaeger, trying to get through, and there's still a Claymore life! Tattoo getting the kill against Azuti, Jack now coming out, we'll see two players, we'll get one, we'll get two! And bring it all down to a 2v2, and Jack just a immediate beautiful play 
Lucas now completely alone on site. Needs to get the help of Jack because he can't do it in a 1v2. Well, he could theoretically because Jack was just able to do so. And he needs to do it as well because his teammate indeed will die. He's now coming out from CCTV uh, TV, sneaking up the back. We'll see a Troshi, but also a Troshi will see him first. Get the first kill and bring it all to a 1-0. Oh, I, I think I, fi I fixed my clip button, but I forgot I did, so I wasn't able to clip the uh, Jack 1v2 kill, which is something you could have clipped, but, uh, well, Jack, were they, like I said, clip a worthy clip, just rushing out there on, was it 15 HP, getting two kills, mind you, it was on two enemy players who were just up, rappelling, not even looking at him. He was completely silent going outside. Still, those two kills nearly won them the round. They brought themselves from a 4v2 to a 2v2. And that is somewhat more vi winnable. Still in the end, not completely jacked with just not enough health to actually make it. So, uh, well. Jack actually against Atroshi not staying alive. And Atroshi getting the last kill for IGP. To bring this to the 1-0. And on the kill count, well on Atroshi, it is looking good. Three kills for Atroshi. 515 points and one assist also. He's been in four of the five kills onto his enemy team. Which is impressive and a perfect start for his first round, of course. So, right now... Preparing phase completely gone. atroshi has got one good drone completely set up, ready to try and spot out his enemy team. Arisuti still downstairs as Bennett trying to see if he can find any one of his enemy players. Jack also with him right now, still staying on the servers, but will not find anyone. It is not Mr. Is it MR19? So I'm guessing it's MR19. It's the start of his first and second name. Okay, so it's MR19. Got it. Arizuki right now is still staying downstairs. He's still on Bandit. There's one player right in front of him. He could try to get that kill, but somehow they will both lose themselves. And Best is able to get upstairs here. MR19 right now just opening up that barricade so he can get out. Entei will actually be spotted. Oh, his drone will be spotted and he will try to go in. For now, through archives, will not be able to find anyone. That yokai drone on Conquer still staying alive will at least find Best. Best still alive and kicking, but there's still Arizuti from down below. He's still trying to somehow get a kill against those enemy players, but they will stay alive for now. Best already down to 15 HP. I think, yes, there was a Nitro Cell coming off, and that will do most of the damage onto him. Shizui still staying alive as Doc in offices needs to keep those clear for the longest time. Atroshi finding the kill against Jack, bringing this all to a 4v5. And, uh, well. Concussion nades now going in. Shizui will still somehow get to stay alive. But his position is known. Oh my god, his tattoo coming through, finding that kill, bringing this to a 4v3, uh, 5v3. Arizuti still staying alive. He's still downstairs. He needs to get up there soon because Lucas can't hold it all on his own. I mean, he still has Conker with him, but he needs to get the help. Arizuti at least finding the kill against MR19. And there's still one player in Lucas also able to find the kill against Entei. But Pest, Best still staying alive, using his impacts to throw through. Lucas finding the next kill. Wow, also find a Troshi! And bring this all to a 3v1. And right now, it is Tattoo completely alone. 1v3, and he needs to find all three players who are nearly full health. Tattoo dropping down won't help us case. He only has 30 seconds left to go. He definitely needs to plant that diffuser anytime soon because he has no time to actually go for those three kills. Conker with his yokai will spot him out first. So now his position is known. He's completely stunned. Will take some more damage. There's two players right in front of him. Question is, is the uh, echo also coming to him? I don't think he actually has to because it's just 10 seconds left to go. He will see Arizuti, but he will get that last kill and bring it all to a 1-1. IGP Academy at least getting the second round of the round and actually drawing this out again. So we're now back onto even grounds. Arizuti actually able to get back 
with his team to find two kills. I mean, he already did most of the damage on best. He threw that C4 out, best was down to 15 HP. There was nothing he could do, at least not much he could do. And then Arizuti just coming out, also finding two kills at the end, bringing this to the 1-1, one, one. actually giving for IGP Academy, I think I definitely, no, I, I, di I didn't only call them IGP, but bringing the draw out for IGP Academy against Behemoth, who of course got the early lead, but weren't able to keep that lead for long enough. Now, the next defense in Ventilation Workshop. They bring out the Castle and the Legion. The rest seems to stay the same. Zafia, Capital, IQ, Hibana and Sledge on the attack. I think we haven't seen a Sledge. Nor have we seen an IQ or I think the Capitano or Ente was playing as uh, Jekyll before. And we definitely had a Thermite in there that is also gone right now. Attackers need to locate and so, the old thing, a 1v1. Maestro coming back out for Conquer. Will at least stay true to that. But lose the Echo in the meantime. And if you know me, I really like seeing Echo on any defending team on bombs because just having those two yokais ah oh, that really helps you doesn't it but conquer actually switching to the maestro uh yeah maestro which isn't the worst pick you still have two evil eyes who could use them on two sides probably shouldn't but you theoretically could and they still do a significant amount of damage we're not talking about Clash amounts of damage because, well, that is not even significant. That's just tickling enough so that the enemy is slowed down. But it's actually like Maestro could try with his evil eyes to, in a 1v2, do enough damage to help his teammate out enough. Best right now on the first floor, trying to get in from South Balcony. That's the second floor, actually. Trying to get into South Balcony. Towards the break, and we'll actually do so. And right now, they are trying to attack the uh, Amory Archives from two sides. There's still Lucas together with Jack alive. They also bring out Shizu, uh, Shizui, who's still playing this on the Legion. We'll throw out a second Gumon up front and try to find someone with it. Lucas now throwing his impact, trying to see if anyone is going to come and try to attack them from up front. And there's in, uh, in fact the Sledge. Atroshi taking huge amounts of damage against Lucas, who's right now still staying alive. Jack around the corner, at least seeing two drones. Will be spotted of them in the meantime. Needs to get back right here. Lucas still on 50 HP, still somehow staying alive. We'll find another angle to try and pre peek through. Well, at least find Atroshi. That's the sledge on the ground. And they can try to get a kill right there. But they still need to move up front. But best actually finding the kill against Lucas that means Atroshi will be able to pick up Atroshi at least got down to 50 HP but Lucas being traded in in the meantime isn't the best way to start this off for IGP Academy Jack at least finding another drone will not stay here hidden right now but uh, will at least try to stay safe. He's actually being attacked from two sides. Jack now down to half of his health. Shizu at least finding the kill against Entei. Best will find the kill against Jack. It's a 4v3. But Shizu is still staying alive and kicking. But he's got three players right behind him. Atroshi right now on 25 HP. Will at least get rid of that goo mine. Best. Hoping you can see anyone towards ventilation. There's no one right there, uh, right in there. Arizuti just hoping you can find anyone out of uh, supply room. Conquer. On side as Maestro. Just staying alive for now. Is Shizumi dropped down? No, he's still on the eastern stairs. He's still on the second floor. But he will be seen by Tattoo. Tattoo finding that kill with the headshot and bringing this to a 2v4. My, uh, keep in mind, a 2v4 was nearly won by IGP Academy. At least brought up to a 2v2. So it's still a possibility to still win this for both. But. Conquer completely alone on the side needs to get the help by Arizuti, who will be killed by Best, who's right now just waiting as Sophia. 4v1, Best coming up front, will find the kill against Conquer and bring this to the 1 2 for IGP Behemoth. And really, what went wrong? I mean, what went wrong for uh, IGP Academy at that point? Because, uh, 
they had this setup. They tried to deal with that, but uh, uh it's it's just they were pushed out from upstairs and uh, didn't really work out. Really did not work out. They were pissed from up, uh, upstairs. Had two players, I think, coming from uh, the side. Were they pissed, uh, pushed from multiple sides? I'm trying to remember. No, they were pl placed with three players in armory, and they were pushed by everyone on their enemy team. That's what happened. After they all died, tried to get down, but didn't successfully do so. They died trying to get into unnecessary fights, doing this in a solo operation, which really didn't work. A really unfortunate kill on Lucas, who was trying to get the finish onto Atroshi, who, mind you, was just laying there. But, of course, Best just staying there, trying to get the kill against the castle. Best, I think, that round doing uh, getting three kills. Definitely was on three, might have been four, but I think it's just three. Um... Yeah, Best just doing so much work, finding the castle, then enabling someone to pick up a Troshi. Bring this all to a 5v4, I think, at that point. Well, and at that point, you're not... You're just trying to get the uh, the, the picks on the side of uh, Behemoth. Because you're already leading player-wise, and you've got two players just picking the fights with you. And, uh, well, it's Shizui going up front, and then I think also Jack just trying to pick another fight. Shizui really unfortunate, trying to get up from the eastern stairs, and of course it's still, was it a tattoo? Yes, tattoo, still waiting for that enemy player to push through. Still, we're going with the same defense again. Now Rizuti right now playing as Pauls, hoping he can find anyone through customs inspection. He still has one C4 with him, he's playing Pauls, he could try to do that. Well, am I seeing this correctly? Are they trying to do a fast push towards ventilation? They indeed are, and Atroshi is already in, finding that first evil eye, bringing that down. He still has Ente right behind him. He will see one player completely upstairs. Arizuti still staying alive, but as soon as he's not getting inside, he's not going to do anything. Shizui is still trying to get a kill from upstairs. There's also still a Jack on the Jäger, who's just right now moving up front. MR19 trying to move in from upstairs. He still has Best together with him. There's only Jack in a 1v2 upstairs, and he still needs to try and stay alive. We'll at least find Shizui to help him, but it's a 2v2 upstairs. Konka finding one kill against Atroshi. Will be brought down to 25 HP. Best coming out. We'll find Jack, and now upstairs it's only Shizui left. Arizuti downstairs at least finding another kill. Shizui getting out will be killed by Best. And right now it's, it's a 2v2. Arizuti using a C4 to find one kill. Conquer still on 25 HP. Well at least be able to get the position of everyone on his enemy team. Call out by Arizuti of course is right now just playing as Pulse. Conquer coming around. Trying to find his enemy player. Bomb located by attackers. But won't for now. The diffuser still needs to be picked up. Attackers and Best will be the one to do so. He still needs to get in with the two who's right now just waiting. Arizuti hoping someone will come out to main lobby. But there is no one just showing himself. Conquer right now just picking the fight with the Hibana. Needs to wait for Arizuti. He's still on full life. Will find the Zafia but will be brought down by OMG. Uh, um, OMG. It's Tati who's right now just staying in a 1v1. Conquer last player alive. Could at least try to pick up Arizuti. But time is running low and he has no idea where Tatu is staying right now. Tatu getting upstairs. He's at least getting that uh, second player back up. Tattoo dropping down from his position. So right now it's a 2v2. Pulse running outside will be killed immediately. Conquer already defusing. We'll just look away for Rom uh, for one second. And the time is running low. He needs to find that kill. Second flashbang coming through his position. It's now Tati finding that kill. And in a 2v1 clutch, Tati somehow actually able to make it through. And bring this to the 3-1 for Behemoth. Was it a pop flash? I don't think it was. And anyway, really well played for him. You saw what he was trying to do. He was just trying to wait out his enemy player. He knew that his enemy player had the best chance of succeeding if he brought up that pulse again and tried to do it in a 2v1. Thing is, Tatu, uh, Tatu just trying to get up on a higher ledge, trying to view that if he's from there, didn't really work out. What I thought he might as well try to do was just try to get upstairs, 
try to use the hills by the attackers to defend the ventilation system to his advantage and shoot his enemy team from up there. He actually didn't do that and that was a risk for him to take because... I mean, he for one could have done that, gotten up there, but may have been too late for that, also would have been hurt while doing that. On the other hand, not doing that left him open for a 2v1, which he ne uh, wouldn't necessarily have to win. But finishing off that pulse wasn't one of the options he was trying to take, because in that case, uh, well, Conker could have just tried to get around, try and get that kill against the Ibana, who was on considerable low amount of health. And not able to pick a one a fair 1v1, which is why perfectly used by um Tatu, the two flashbangs came through. Well the first one not really perfect, at least held Conquer from defusing, but the second one actually winning him the 1v2. So what ranked wrong for a cat uh, for AGP Academy? They tried to hold off. They really did. But thing is, their enemy team just immediately started attacking. And immediately started attacking ventilation. They didn't reckon that, uh, rec reckon that they would actually try and do that. Well, and... Uh, lost the round while doing so. Jack right now on his way towards ventilation. Still has Arizuki with him. Best downstairs trying to see anyone towards server room. There's also a trophy just opening up ventilations. Also trying to find anyone coming through. Jack together with Arizuti just hoping to see their enemy team but best being killed by SC4 is now at least down on the ground injured needs to be picked up and would be on 50 HP if Atroshi would be able to successfully do so still that is not the best way to start this for him best will actually be picked up Entei playing this as Montaigne will just wait for that uh, thermite charge to go through will now be able to get on site but there's still one smoke on Conker who's still trying to delay this as long as possible Jack still trying to do this from downstairs Lucas has one evil eye up and ready with him and he needs to get the help from behind him there's at least one patcher trying to see his enemy team and there's still oh my god it's taku uh, taku tatu he's trying to hold up uh, hold on tatu just trying to see his enemy team best just right now using his last lifeline shot to summer bait someone out but atroshi finding that first kill the smoke on conquer still staying alive behind the bomb just hoping that anyone will push through. But for now, he's staying alive. He's staying alive and kicking. And he's just waiting. The Jäger on Jack completely annihilated in the beginning. Atroshi just on his way inside. Arizuti hoping he can find anyone outside. But there's Best with another C uh, Claymore kill. Bringing this to a 4v3 because he will actually die to the smoke. Entei also down to 5 HP. But I think that was the last gas canister actually being popped. And right now, it is going to be a 3v3. Uh, four and they being picked up back to 50 HP Tartu hoping he can find anyone as well and Atroshi coming in from behind finding another kill will be brought down by Shizui Should be able to be picked up again again But Shizui just running through the smoke will be killed by MR19 and now it's all down to Lucas Who at least has one evil eye set up but that evil eye will uh, quickly fade out of existence The diffuser now being planned and there's still the Montaigne still alive trying to hold Lucas off and he is doing that to his best extent But Tati finding the team kill will at least take Lucas out in the meantime But if he would have died there that would have been a 1v1 So actually really a risk for him to do so still that kill is coming through, that kill is still looking good for him, and IGP Behemoth bringing this to the 4-1, actually leading three rounds, and they are trying to bring that three round lead in till the end. IGP Academy still only on a one round win, but they can't theoretically manage with that. They bring up the Doka AB, they've got Thermite, they've got Thatcher, Capitao, and Ash to try and win against their enemy defense on Armory Lockers Archive. They need to win all five rounds in this half to actually get to the 6-4. To win this without actually going into a uh, an overtime. An overtime would happen if they lose one round but still are able to win the following four. Which is a possible scenario for them to do seeing that AG IGP Behemoth was able to do the same. Paul's now coming out for best and uh, being switched off the mute. There's still the bandit on MR. 
So, not too much reason Attack to switch to off that. Well, uh, not too much reason to keep the mute in here. Although, of course, there are some down to, uh, to ban the downsides to the mute as well. Best is going to try and do this as pulls, and I think it, sh it could theoretically and should theoretically work out for him. Jack AB, of course, coming in for Arizuti. Haven't seen that on his enemy side yet. And we are probably not going to see it on border as well, seeing that this is right now one of the more clearer games for LGP Behemoth. But it could still happen. It's a 4-1, still anything is possible. Well, let's just see how they are uh, trying to do this. Atroshi setting up his last reinforcement, MR19 playing this as Bandit. Of course, one of the huge uh, pl uh, plus points for Bandits are that you can actually Bandit trick on Bandit. I am not too sure if you're able to mute trick. I mean, in theory, you should be able to. If you've got the timing down to the point, and really, really lucky. But in practice, mute tracking is just nothing you really heard of, isn't it? So you better have just trying to do it as bandits. Seeing that the Shizuri is attacking this from down below, those two bandit batteries should already be down. There's no need for Lucas to stealth those EMP nade up there. But uh, still, Shizuri finding the kill against best. Will also get another kill. And also find a Troshi still. Oh my god, it's Tartu getting the refrag and bringing this all to a 3v4. Didn't realize what happened there because I was still waiting on Conquer to show up on my screen. I wasn't noticing, uh, I wasn't actually seeing who was down on the ground. Conquer right now on 50 HP, just rappelling in. He's still staying alive. He was uh, able to be picked up in the end. And hey, as Eli. Right now, just waiting. MR19 still playing this as a bandit, still hoping that his team will show, him so, uh, show themselves fairly early on. As still Tartu on the evil eye. And IGP Academy right now looking somewhat better. It is a 4 1, but they at least get two kills leading into this and just lose one player. Of course, they nearly lost Conker. Uh, for now, that is good enough. Conker right now on site. The. Uh, Maestro Evil I will see nothing, but still, Tati able to get the kill through the wall right here, bringing this all to a 3v3. Still, the diffuser is going to be planted. Tatu is right now down below, as Maestro will not be able to see anyone. Entei still staying alive. It's a 2v3. Entei coming up. We'll see one claimer. We'll try to get the kill through the wall, but will be taken out in the meantime by Lucas. And now it's all down to Tatu in a 1v3. He knows where one player is. He could theoretically still try to get Entei up, and he will do so and bring this all to a 2v2. Thing is, the diffuser is already halfway off, and they need to hurry, because they are playing against the time right now. Oh my god, it's Tartu already opening up. Is on his way inside. There's still two players just waiting. One Sudoku AB on Darizuti. Uh, Arizuti is at least going to be killed by Entei, but doing some damage against Tatu. Right now, it's completely alone, and the diffuser can't be diffused in time. Jack will actually win this in a 1v2, just waiting on the diffuser and actually be able to win this next round for IGP Behemoth. IGP Behemoth, therefore, actually giving them the four. Uh, or no, uh, IGP Academy, sorry. IGP Behemoth switched towards defense. IGP Academy, therefore, able to at least get that three-round lead back to a two-round lead. It is looking somewhat better for them. Still, if they lose one round, the best thing they can do is just to try and stay on, uh, on an overtime, which is not something you actually want to do, because an overtime... For the most cases, it's just you could argue a coin flip of who gets to attack or defend the most. Best now switching off Echo towards Valkyrie, getting three black eyes to... There's black eyes, there's evil eyes, that is confusing, but still getting three black eyes to try and spot out his enemy team. Two evil eyes on the Maestro, also to do the same and to also deal need to locate and more damage in the meantime. It's basically a movable bulletproof camera that can look through smokes and deal damage. Uh, you don't, you can't get so creative 
with placing those things like you can on Valkyrie. But still, it is a movable, bulletproof camera that can see through smokes and deal damage. Which, I didn't see any downsides to that, really. That's right now. I mean, that's probably what everyone said. That is definitely what everyone said as soon as uh, Maestro came out. But still, I'm going to say it again and again and again as soon as anyone is going to notice that I have successfully said so. Maybe it is going to be changed. No, it isn't. It definitely isn't. So, right now, the attack on IGP Academy side. Right now, they are just running in. That's at least something they are doing correctly. Them just hoping to see if they can find any one of the enemy players. There are so many teams that forget to drone in and just go in hoping they can find their enemy and hoping they can outgun them. But seeing that if you're running in, you're on the pushing side. If you are indeed pushing, you are in the worst position. You want to be the one just holding a position while your enemy is pushing. That is a fight you can actually win because then you're just looking at one entrance trying to get that kill. If you're the one pushing, you need to oversee one whole room and try to spot out your enemy before he does you. You really need to be lucky in those fights. Jack right now just on his way up the eastern stairs. There's Entei just waiting for him. Entei just hoping to get lucky with that one kill. Impact being thrown still. He will be seen by Jack. Jack getting the kill against Entei. And right now, IGP Academy is looking a lot better than on the defensive side. Still, they are staying in a, a 4v5. There's still a Jaeger alive downstairs on a Troshi, who's still trying to move around, trying to maneuver in customs and faction to somehow get behind anyone on his enemy team to get a kill, but won't be able to do so for now. Rizuti already on, uh, on his way inside, Shizui right behind him. There's going to be some shots being thrown, a Troshi! Come in from behind, finding Ron Kill, bringing this to a 4v4. He is pushing up front, I don't know it, if he's been seen doing that. Best still downstairs, he's got one nitro cell. He's just hoping to get a ping or s some location to throw his nitro cell to get the kill. But for now, he won't be able to do so. Atroshi trying to get a kill through the wall. Shizui still staying alive, at least seeing that bandit, but the bandit will uh, be quick enough to drop down still. The diffuser will be planted. And they are now sitting in a 4v4. Bandit downstairs. Best at least finding one kill against Lucas. We'll see one claimer right in front of him. Tatu will die towards Jack and right now this is going to be a 2v3. MR19 at least coming in. We'll see one player alive in offices. Flashbangs coming in. It should be Shizui on the other side. He will take out that black eye that was spotting him before. We'll see that Bennett take him out and now it's all down to Best. He's right now sitting in a 1v3. Flashbang coming out. He's at least seen the Ash trying to get that first kill. But time's already run short. Best at least getting that first kill. But in a 1v2 with so not enough time that isn't going to be able, uh, possible Attack for him to do. Successful. And this is going to be the disarmed bomb again. And IGP Academy winning with the diffuser against IGP Behemoth for the second time. And bring this to the 4-3. It's looking a lot better for them, but, uh, well, it is still the one round lead for Behemoth, and they can still try to get this lead. They are still playing this in Armory Locker's archives. I don't know if I necessarily like that decision, because that didn't work out twice already. What? Oh, did it? No, yeah, really, it didn't work out twice already. So I don't know if I would do that a sec uh, a third time. I would just try to, at this point, go downstairs somewhat uh, workshop ventilation, try, or maybe even custom supply, try to do my best right there. But, uh, I mean, for the most points, that just doesn't work out for them, does it? So, 4-3. Capitao being switched to, Jack, uh, to Sledge on Jack. The KB Ash slash Thermite and Thatcher coming out on the attacking side. On the Defense defensive side, we are actually going to see the Pulse again. We are going to see the Dog, the Jaeger, the Legion and the Maestro. So, 
still a one round lead for Behemoth and they want to keep this for the round to be held in their, uh, for the lead to be in their hands. They need to finally be able to win the third round on Armory Locks Archives. It's the third time they are defending this. If they aren't able to successfully do so, yeah, their lead is completely gone. We are going to sit on even ground again. And this might not even go to overtime, but be the win for IGP Academy, who are just looking so much better than Behemoth in their defensive round. Killwise right now, 9 kills on both Best and Tartu. They're just doing so much for IGP Behemoth. Atroshi sitting on 8 kills and on IGP Academy 5, uh, five 4, 4, 4 and 4 kills. So really even ground right here. Yes, they still have less kills because duh, they are losing by one round. But at least everyone on their team is completely contributing. At least killwise, of course, they still... Um, there's still a case of you giving good calls, having good strats, giving the information, using your operator to the best extent. Rainbow Six, as is with any other shooter, isn't a complete kill game. This isn't a team deathmatch, mind you. But still, um, you if you're not getting the kills, you're not going to win. So, uh, well, actually, everyone being able to kill, it also brings up team morale. And in the end, eSport, really a team game in eSport, is, has to do a lot with morals. Shizui on Ash right now just hoping anyone will come forwards in server room. But the Jäger will stay safe for now. Jack taking huge amounts of damage. is already down to 25 HP. Shizui somehow finding a Troshi, finding that first kill. Bringing this to the 4v5. First frag for Jack will be eaten by the first ADS system. Uh, sorry, by the first AD system if we're completely technical. Marizuki just hoping to get the kill against the first player he just saw. That should be yes, Tati. He's right now just playing on the Maestro, but they're still best alive, and he will w find one kill against Shizui. Tatu getting the next one against Jack, and right now it's still Arizuti able to find that kill against uh, against Tatu, but he will use his Logic Bomb to try and find the rest of his team. Entei getting the kill against Conker. Arizuti at least finding the kill against Entei, but it's still a 2v2. Arizuti with another kill, and right now it's all down to best, best in a 1v2. Logic Bomb is being thrown out, and he somehow needs to be careful enough to make his way around Arizuti and Lucas who are right now just defending that planted diffuser so roll switch best right now coming from the defensive side onto the aggressive side last cameras will be spotted soon as they are spotting his enemy players Another logic bomb coming up, but he will see Lucas. Still, Lucas will be able to find the last kill, bring Red 8 into the hands of IGP Academy. And therefore, IGP Academy actually being able to bring this to a 4-4. And after this looked like a really one-sided match for IGP Behemoth in the first half with the 4-1, this is starting to look like an even match. We are now sitting in a draw, in a 4-4 situation. This is still everyone's map. And... Seeing that it's still a best of three, this is also still everyone's game. Till so they are then moving forward. Uh, the, the winner of this is, of course, moving forward to the semi-finals. That will happen. And correct me, Chad, if I'm wrong, because this is completely different from the relegations in the Benelux area. But correct me if I'm wrong. Semi-finals are going to happen tomorrow, don't they? Because if they do, I'm not going to be able to, able to cast those. I am sorry, maybe I will be able to chime in later on, but I don't think so. Maybe I will. I can only hope. But a 4-4. And, uh, well, again, the Armory Lockers Archives defense coming out for IGP Behemoth. And I don't like it. I don't like that they are doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Like, at this point... I just need a soundboard for the definition of insanity. Because that is literally it. They are doing the same... I need to keep it PG thing over and over and over again. Expecting the outcome to be different. And they are, well, they are switching up their uh, operators a little bit. But really, it didn't work up the first three times. 
I think at this point it is best for the Behemoth to just move over, get another side. Yes, of course, at some point this defense is going to work, but that might be in the next three rounds, and they don't have three rounds. If it's in the next two rounds, maybe even this round, yes, they are in luck. They at least bring this to an overtime. But if it's going to be in three rounds, they don't have three rounds, like I said. And that would mean that this round would go over to IGP Academy. Atreji now finding the first kill against Jack. At least this round is starting off a little bit better for them. Atreji finding the first kill, Slash completely out. Still IGP has the Doke, uh, IGP Academy has the Doke AB on Arizuti still alive. He's trying to come around his enemy team from behind. Well, Indeed try to do so, but not be able to do so yet. Opening up CCTV and able to see exactly no one. Shizui downstairs in server and workshop. Hoping you can find someone with the help of Conker's drone. Conker, bad fur day. Right now in workshop together with him. Will not see anyone, but will know that the hatch is indeed open. So Shizui knows he needs to be careful that he doesn't get pushed from up above. Conker, right now, just rappelling upstairs. Best. It's just a little tiny slit you've got right there. And you're trying to find your enemy through that? If you're actually successfully getting a kill through that little hole, I'd be surprised. Well, it's actually bigger than I thought. I just realized what I said and uh, I apologize completely. Atroshi. Right now, just waiting on the staircase, and there's going to be the Ash up front, but Shizui just ready for that kill. It's got the drone in front of him, we'll find the headshot and bring this to the 4-4. And Shizui on the Ash is just such a strong suit. 4v4, drones coming in, and they are trying to find their enemy soon enough. And hey, right now, still just waiting on that yokai. Some damage being thrown out to Conker, who's now down to 15 HP. Flashbangs being thrown, smokes being thrown by the Doka AB. They are successfully going to deploy. So is this Logic Bomb coming through. Logic Bomb coming in. Doka AB trying to do something, but will be pushed by the Legion in the meantime. MR19 finding one kill. Best finding another one. Shizui coming in from behind, finding two kills. Will be at least killed by Best, and now it's all down to Lukes, who's playing this in a 1v2, at least finding Best, but is now staying in a 1v1 against Entei, and Entei, with the Yokai in hand, just needs to wait for him to plant that diffuser because time is running low. Lukes, you really need to, uh, Lucas, you really need to take care of that Yokai. Entei is just waiting. And hoping. And if Lucas can somehow make his way right behind Entei, he might left. still be in luck. But he really needs to do so, and Entei will indeed hear him. Five seconds to go, that diffuser needs to be planted. Entei can hear that diffuser plan coming through, is trying to get that kill, will find that kill! And with the last second going down on the clock, IGP Academy? Will find that last one. Have I always been confusing the teams? IGP Academy is defending? Have I been confusing the teams? Yes, Entei is on the orange side, I'm completely sorry! Oh, it's what you get if you're pairing up two IGP teams. Yes, of course, Academy is playing this uh, on the defense. It was just about time that I was going to see that, was it? So, yes, IGP Academy was with the lead all along and Behemoth was lacking and just staying behind. And right now IGP Academy getting the lead, bringing this to the 5-4 four, four, uh, four, and they are now up on the match point, or at least map point. I am completely sorry that I mixed that up, but I hope you can see why I did, because, I mean, all I have to work with are two team tags. I'm not seeing the uh, overlay you're seeing up top. All I have to work with are two team tags, which are identical on both teams. Okay, I at least know that Entei is playing in IGP Academy, so I'm just going to base it on that. Okay, so IGP Academy at least able to bring this to a 5-4. And are now trying to do this in their last... Uh, are now trying to win this in this last round. Actually, did no one of you in the chat notice that as well? Because maybe you did. But you said it in, uh, but you called me out in Italian, if you did. And that is not on me. I'm not Italian. I have no idea how to read that. 
But if there's any it's good against Atroshi. Atroshi on the same position he was before. He was successful with the kill against Jack. Got the sledge out immediately into the round last time. That just, that just isn't working a second time. And there no. Um Ibana charges going in. Jack still staying alive. He's upstairs. He's hoping he can find anyone. He's together right here with his Doka AB. RZT, of course, was already successful with finding one kill, but they won't be able to do so again. Best throwing once he fall, not even checking if there's anyone right around the corner. Well, above him. So that's C4 just completely wasted. He didn't even know where enemies really were. He didn't even check where they were going. So yeah, that C4 is going to be wasted. MR19 still waiting, and I think now the... Uh, Three minutes are over? No, maybe not. And the three minutes delay have catched up. Part two, right now, staying with best, at least finding the kill against the Ash. But there's still Lucas coming up, finding another Jack kill. And getting a 3v4. Best still staying alive. He's walking into ventilation. Jack finding the kill against MR19. Tati still upstairs and he needs to somehow get downstairs to help best because he's right now in a 1v4 and he won't be able to do so but Tati falling to Shizui and now right now best in a 1v4 will be killed by Konka in the meantime and well with that round 10 is going into the hands of Behemoth not Academy but Behemoth and they still will bring this to the 5-5 so even if I mix up the teams the score doesn't change it's the 5-5 Academy and Behemoth staying close together and still keeping this a close game. Overtime, best of three, meaning uh, the next team to win two rounds is actually going to win that first map. Question we have to ask ourselves is, of course, who is going to be said team? We are going to see IGP Academy again on the defense playing this. Okay, uh, I'm quickly going to reconnect to that uh, and I'm going to see you back in just a second. Let me do this really quick and I'll see you back in game. Okay, so I think the stream is back up. Uh, I am completely sorry about that. <coughs> let me just... Stream is coming back. Uh, let me just completely uh, say I'm sorry for that. I completely forgot that my internet connection is going to drop um, at precisely 10 o'clock on Mondays, which, of course, is right now. Um, yeah, but we are back in game with our overtime. And let's just see how that last round pan out, if it already did. <sighs> um, yeah, I think for, for all of you guys, the, um, the, the, uh, footage, like, for the last three minutes was still all right. It was just three minutes ago from your point right now uh, that it broke down. The uh, Well, it's the problem with doing this with a three minute delay. So we're still staying in a 5-5. Somehow it's still the overtime. We're cl uh, quickly enough back in the game. And uh, let me promise you from this point on the stream isn't going to drop that hard again. So, 5-5, five, five, overtime still ensuing. We are going to see the copy tower and Jack trying to... Oh, that is trippy. Thank you, Jack. Just completely rappelling in. They've got the Dirk on Ari City right behind them. Trying to find Entei, who for now is still staying alive as the Legion. He's got M on 19 right behind him. Best just moving up forwards. But there's going to be one flashbang coming in. Best for now, still staying alive. Planting one bandit battery. Hoping that he can for now keep off the wall. But there's going to be one EMP nade. The exothermic charge will already be planted. Best is not going to be fast enough for that. It's just quickly searching cover. And we are going to see the wall breached open in a 5v5. Is the stream dropped again because I'm not seeing any viewer? No. Tati finding another kill against Conker. Arizuti with a kill against Atroshi. So it's rough for now, still staying at 4v4. Lucas still dropping out. Uh, funny Poppy, isn't that game going on tomorrow? 
because if it does, I've already said I'm not able to do so. But if that game is going on today, yes, I will be able to do so. What Shizui isn't going to be able is staying alive against, oh my god, it's Tatu. Because Tatu coming, uh, because Tatu is just coming out, finding that kill and bringing this to be 4v3. He's still staying alive as Valkyrie. Lucas on Thatcher, just trying to see if he can find some kill. Best just using his C4 to take out Jack. Jack in the meantime getting the kill with his ve weapon. And right now it's just going down all to Lucas. He's going to see what he can do against Entei. But Entei finding that last kill of the round. Bringing this all to a 6-5 for IGP Academy. And with that, we are completely back into the game. Are not dropping out of any preparation phase or action phase. And should see the last remaining two rounds. Or maybe just one round. In a normal fashion. Like I said, I completely apologize for dropping. Uh, I'm guessing the YouTube VOD. Is the YouTube VOD going to break? If it does, I'm also sorry for you. But um, let me remind you, not, you're not going to see anything more on the YouTube VOD than you are going to see on Twitch. So uh, I'd normally say go check that out. But uh, no. Nah. Sorry, but no. Nah. It's not an option. But you can still check it out. I mean, you can check out every what on my, what on my channel. It's, uh, I haven't actually left that in the description of this channel, which is my problem, to be honest. But uh, problem for IGP Behemoth right now is that they are sitting back in a 6-5. They need to win two rounds in a row. And, uh, well, IGP Academy still trying to take a hold of them. They are leading one round. And, uh... Well, it is going to come down to Behemoth being successful with this last defense. But mind you, keep in mind how that first uh, half went. Because Behemoth was defending on that half. But defending didn't work out at all for both teams. So, if... IGP Academy is going to be able to keep up the same attacking strategy and do that in the same strong manner. They should be able to swiftly bring this to the 7-5 and we should go with the 1-0 in uh, backs for IGP Academy toward border. But, uh, toward bank. But there's still the possibility of IGP Behemoth, of course, winning the next two rounds. That possibility is always going to be their conquer. Playing the smoke with the shotgun and SMG-11 like the nerf never happened. Of course, he still needs to um, get used to the new recoil. And that is something he needs to reckon with. But that should still work out for him. Otherwise, he wouldn't try to play smoke. Still has two gas, uh, three gas canisters all in hand. Entei trying to play this as Montaigne. We've seen that attacking strategy going, coming out before. It barely did work out with one team kill on Tatu, if I'm not completely mistaken. But he's trying to do so as well. Attackers have located a bomb. So, drowning in right now will be Tatu Kankura. Just waiting right here behind the bomb, trying to throw out his gas canisters. There's going to be one concussion aid thrown by the Zephyr. So Conker now needs to stay careful. He will be droned out again. His position now completely known, but he will not be killed through the wall. For now, he will stay alive. And they're just waiting for his time to move through. Well, at least see that first lesion mine. Take it out right now. Of course, he will lose some ammunition in the meantime. There are, uh, well. That is still more than enough for Montaigne, who for the most time just needs to hold out his shield. Best right now downstairs, he still has Jack right in front of him. And Jack is coming out from the side, and if he's lucky, he will be able to find Best right here. He will come out. Best for now, just not looking to the side. But the uh, problem is, Jack is not completely in the action. She's doing finding one kill on to Entei. Finding the second one against MR19. Jack actually dying towards Best. Arizuti at least successful with another kill against Atrocian. Right now, it's all down to Best and Tatu. They are set in a 2v3. The, Jack, uh, the Jäger completely off the side will not be able to defend that diffuser being planted. And right now, it's all down to Tatu. Here we will seen by Lucas. Lucas bringing us to the 6-5, 6-6. With the last kill on the Thermite. And with that, round 12 will be won by Behemoth. And this round, although the last, uh, the first half looked so promising for IGP Academy, this first map is still going to be a really, really short, short one. Close one. 
because we are going to see it in round 13 with a 6-6. We are going the full way on our first map. Really makes you hope that our uh, whole series is going to go the full way to the, uh, what is it, three, um, three maps? Yes, three maps. Uh, Funny puppy, like I said before, I am unfortunately not able to stream tomorrow because I've got a uh, something to do. Is it a date then? No, it, I mean it's not a date. In, I, I've I've got something to do, but it's not a date. So if I talk to girls, um, now I've got something to do till uh, like 9 p.m. I'm just going to be home half ten. I do it if I was able to do so, but unfortunately this is going to be the only game I will be able to stream for uh, the Italian Championship relegation. Of course, if you want, request another cast for the uh, Italian Championship next season for the winter. And uh, I'd be completely happy to cast... Uh, I've completely forgotten which uh, team it was you were asking for, but... Um, if you request me to do that, I can definitely do that. The Discord link is down in the description. Just join it, request a cast whenever you want. Doesn't even have to be for the Italian Championship. Can be for whatever you like, as long as I'm, uh, I'm allowed to cast it. So, moving Plux out of the way. Although I think I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> we are now going to the 6-6, six, six, the last round of this ma first map and uh, IGP Academy again playing this on the defensive side we are going to see the Thatcher, the uh, Hibana, the Sledge, the Ash and the Doka AB on the attacking side on the defensive side we are going to see Vigil, Legion, Jaeger, Castle and of course Echo again playing on Tartu and they right now must defense, uh, defend the workshop ventilation They've just won upstairs Armory Archives, they now need to go downstairs. That shouldn't be the biggest problem, that's still a possible defense for them to do. But they need to be really, really quiet, because, uh, careful, because they just get this one shot at this. Best for now, just waiting for his enemy team to move through. He knows there's at least one or two players right behind that, but he doesn't know it's four, maybe for s at some point even all five of them best trying to spot them out he's completely alone as far as i know because i think it's atroshi now atroshi actually has moved to the desk so he's still there and he's just waiting for them to move forward he will see one find the headshot against jack and bring this to the 5v4 the rest of the players for now just moving back i'm completely guessing that our Rizuti will try to move in on his own yes but for now it seems like so will conquer conquer still staying alive outside of ventilation he's not going to be able to find anyone for now lucas in with his drone is just trying to drone Shizui in as J uh, as Ash. The Ash, of course, right now just hoping that he can uh, that he can find one or two kills on his enemy team. But there's still two players alive upstairs: the Vigil and the Jaeger. They will be spotted out at least, but our Rizutri immediately killed by Atroshi, who will just be able to find that first kill as Jaeger. And he still has one yokai together with him. And that yokai will try to hold off as many enemies as possible. There's of course the Ash in the next room. There's going to be the Thatcher coming through. And Lucas is at least finding a camera. I don't think that he has actually found the yokai. But one camera is going to fall at least. Yeah, the yokai was actually not found. And a finding another kill and with that the diffuser's on the ground and it's right now just a 2v5 Lucas and Shizui the last two players alive they've got 40 seconds and they need to be able to clutch this somehow Shizui finding that first kill against best and Lucas now the last player alive Well, no not the last player alive still in a 2v4 but he's now the last player alive and uh, he at least knows where one player is but he needs to find that Jaeger and he won't. So Atroshi finding that first kill. And we are going to see that first map going into the hands of IGP Academy. With the last kill going into the hands of Atroshi. And with that the first map border will fall into the hands of like I said IGP Academy.
trying to hold up. His drain will at least see where enemies are coming from, but is of course completely visible and can't stun anyone. But he knows that no one is coming from the garage, so he's staying completely safe right here. Lucas right now is lying, trying to uh, go in. And of course, there's the odd one out, the jackal on Shizui, that is right now just trying to see the roamers on his enemy team. And of course, there are going to be some roamers, because this is bank. And if you just have a look at this... Bank is one of those maps where you nearly always have three floors with multiple staircases to go up and down on each other. And that is just the perfect setup for a map for a roaming player. Like for example, uh, well, Best could theoretically do or Atroshi could theoretically do. Both are not going to try to do that, are staying downstairs right now. I'm not trying to use the uh, staircases to their advantage, which they in theory could do, but aren't going to try to do. So, Atroshi, right now on his way up, there's four players in open area, but he will be seen from behind. Lucas is still alive on the staircase, main stairway, he will get him, and he will bring this all to a 4v5. And that is, um, really not the best thing, uh, way for him to start this off. So, Lucas, with the first kill in his bag, also seeing the next yokai, still staying alive, still hoping he can find another kill. MR19 hoping he can see a second player, but Shizui getting the kill against Entei, and that is actually the clash out of the game. That's the big, big shield, and that is going to be missing. And you want that shield to be alive as long as possible. E1D coming through, Shizui right now just throwing out smokes, is trying to find another kill, Best right now just trying to hold his position, but Tatu will actually fall towards Arizuti, there's another C4 coming out, but he won't actually find a kill with that, MR19 just staying on his MP, there's a bomb diffuser going to be planted that Montaigne is trying to hold it off as long as possible, Best coming through, finding the kill against Arizuti, but it's still the bomb diffuser planted, there's still a 4v2! Lucas, still staying upstairs, still has one E1D, and as soon as he uses that, that is going to come out right now. No one on the enemy team should be able to move if they want to stay alive, and that will either win them the round like it did just now, or delay this for long enough that the diffuser will come through. So, last two kills coming at the end at the same time. Just one kill coming out for AGP Academy. And they are able to bring this to the, uh, or IGP Behemoth are able to bring, bring this to the 1-0. Mind you, they definitely want to win this map. They want to bring this to Clubhouse. But for now, this is looking good. But keep in mind, of course, IGP Academy, the team names aren't shown for you, but you're at least seeing, well, not in-game shown, but you're at least seeing what's on top. So you know which teams, which, like I said, I... Due to my internet loss, I lost host rights, which is unfortunate, but y y at least you are still seeing who's winning right now. And Jack actually leaving the game, meaning we do have to make uh, get a rehost going. Jack will leave in the operator pick phase, so the rehost will come through, will immediately be called by Shizui. So uh, yeah, we are going Jack to go to into a short break as soon as anyone is going to leave. They aren't leaving for now. Yes, a rehost. You need to leave. <laughs> Otherwise, this isn't a rehost. Uh, uh, oh, for now they are staying in. Now that is, this is definitely going to be the rehost. Players are leaving, so I will see you all back in just a second with mod rights. Uh, or not mod rights, but um, host rights again. And uh, yes, with a short break and a short rehost, the 1-0 right now for IGP Behemoth. And uh, well. With that, just a short break, and after that, I will see you all back with our second map, Bank, and let's see if IGP Academy can actually bring this to the 2-0.
up to his same position. He's just waiting for now. Now that Ren will come in. Will not be seen for now, and there's our good old friend, the Montaigne, just moving up front, trying to do something. But thing is, well, he's low on health. Even though Clash is not doing anything on uh, targets that are for life, 25 HP is more than enough to be taken out by Clash. So, yeah. Entei, for now will be spotted by multiple players, but will also take some damage in the meantime. Lucas still upstairs, while he uses next E1D as it is first one. It's actually his first one to spot out his enemy team. Back on Arizuti, still throwing a nade. Still will be slowed by the Clash, and I think that smoke is really important, uh, that uh, slow is really important to keep in mind. But what a great placed ADS completely keeping Entei alive because that nade could have completely been eaten by Entei but that ADS still staying there completely saved his bacon so Entei right now with five players in front of him but where is the rest of his team there's still the pulse the echo just waiting she's uh Shizui still coming in from behind E1D will be used by Lucas but they need to get in they don't have that much time 10 seconds left to go Tati will find another click against Conquer bring this all down to a 3v3 with the click against Shizui but there's Arizuti just jumping in finding the next kill hoping he can somehow find the kill against the Clash who will still stay alive but the diffuser is already planted the clash completely alone in a 2v1 he needs to stay alive and he needs to get uh, mr and his help soon so clash now falling due to that montane the buck completely changing positions will try to get the kill against that echo anytime soon the echo right in front of the montane but arizuti now can up front finding that last kill and getting the second round for igp behemoth Ready to engage, I noticed my mistake, <laughs> and I fixed it. <laughs> At least I'm standing for it. But, uh, uh, yeah. Like I said, with rehosts and everything happening in the background, it was just a little bit much for me. But I'm back, I'm back, you're all seeing what, hap what happened on the back. Like I said, thank you for the last follow, because that really showed me that I'm not on the, uh, like, actually in-game. <laughs> but, um... I'm back, we are back, and also who's back is Behemoth, apparently, because they are now bringing this to the 2-0, tell us archives, now coming out for IGP Academy, Lion, Jekyll, Thermite, Bucket, Montaigne on the attack, the Vigil being put up by Best, there's also going to be the Ela, and okay, now switching from Clash to Dock, trying to hold Talos off again as long as possible. But the 2-0. Behemoth are now trying to start their comeback. And they are now trying to bring the 1-1 um, map-wise in this matchup into their own favor. Maybe they will be able to do so. Maybe not. But they are for now at least hoping. Ente setting up his dog. Atroshi. Right now, just on the Ela, he's got MR19 right behind him. We'll at least throw one impact out to open up the walls towards the office area. The Troshi for now, just standing there. Entei, completely on top, has got best right with him. And uh, I've already said that, but you've got one map that is just completely perfect for you to roam around with just three floors completely. You've got, if you're playing this on the t second floor or first floor, you already have three staircases into your uh, expo uh, disposal. So you can use all three to move around and also use the hatches that are up there. If you're downstairs in the uh, basement, of course, you only have one stair uh, two staircases, but that is still more than enough for a roamer. This map is a dream, but you need to effectively use that. Lucas right now playing his line completely downstairs, trying to roam out or spot out his enemy team. Shizui just using the smallest holes to try and find his enemy team. For now he won't be able to do so. Will not find any footsteps in the lobby. Jack already on his way in. Tati with one of the best views on this. Best could use that information to come in from behind. Keep in mind. Best is still in a good position to do so. Jack is just completely letting that metal detector run out of his out of his mind. But I think it's going back again. 
Jack on his way inside will at least find, I think, two players. If Huser dropped right behind him, someone will try to plant that at any time soon. But for now, the players on the defense are trying to hold off. Entei still staying there with the Legion and the Jäger on the other side. Smokes are coming in. Entei finding the kill against Shizuri. Bring the diffuser down at least, but there is still Conker. And Conker right now is trying to open up that next wall. Trying to come in from another side, from another angle. Trying to do this. Arizuti going upstairs, trying to find a kill from there. Conker still has a diffuser opening up that first wall. He still has Jack with him as a small distraction on the Montaigne. Conker shooting through the soft wall. For now, not being able to find one kill at all. Still one player. Laying on the ground, Conker still with one exothermic charge. That exothermic charge won't be used at all, probably. And for now, he's just trying to create a distraction, and that distraction seems to be working because Tatu is now looking to his back, and there's at least the spotted uh, uh, diffuser on the thermite, of course. But that thermite will also know where that Jäger is staying at, and he will need to be careful, Conker, because that Jäger could come out at any minute. Atroshi with another kill against Azuti. Tatu just using Conker's own mistake to come out, find that next kill, and now it's a 2v5! Entei with the next kill against Jack, and now it's Tatu with the last kill against Lucas, and what a hold for IGP Academy. They didn't even need to use Best, who was completely posed upstairs and try to hold this off. They were lucky enough that they had the Thermite, they were lucky enough to actually get the kill against the Jekyll in the beginning. Um, got the, um, by the way, thank you, ready to engage. Got the uh, kill completely in the beginning and got the uh, diffuser down on the ground. With that and Conker picking that up, Conker tried to go in from the side, opening up another wall for the defenders to actually use that and conquer also did the next mistake to opening up that barricade opening up that barricade meant that igp academy now had a way to get in from behind them and try to get a kill and tatu of course he is going to use this so was atroshi so was everyone if you give igp academy the way outside they are going to use that way and they are going to use it to find kills against you so this defense the perfect defense for igp academy bring this to the 1-2. Now the uh, <coughs> CEO office. You're not seeing banks too, too often, are you? But now the CEO office coming out for Tartu. And, uh, well, he for now, uh, for Tartu, for IGP Academy with Tartu and Co. They for now are just hoping they can bring this out again because if they can, they can bring this to the 2 2. IGP Academy, of course, wants to give Bank the immediate win. And if they can, we are not going to see Clubhouse and we are going to end it right here. And that is what IGP Academy is actually trying to do. And keep in mind, on um, uh, Border was the last map. The defensive side for both teams didn't work out at all. Both teams lost four rounds on the defense. And right now, already in the third round, IGP Academy was able to at least get one round. And that one round winner in a very dominant fashion. But now Jack is trying to bring that dominant fashion back to try and attack the CEO's office. And he's already inside the room. Well, not the room, but inside the office at least. Arizuti right behind him. He's got Conker with him. Conker trying to open up their wall soon as the Thermite. And they are just throwing their nades in. They've got the buck right here. There's going to be one grenade thrown in. Two nades, uh, two flashbangs. Two nades already wasted to just potentially bait out ADS charges. And with that, perfectly thrown a grenade to keep Entei down on the ground and kill him completely. That was just perfectly done by them. Throwing those first two nades to just bait out any potential ADS on the other side. Jack for now staying alive, but he's got two players right with him. One is MR19, who for now is just waiting to get that kill. Oh, there's a player right behind him, of course, as well. Tati finding the kill against Jack. That's the Montaigne completely gone. It's right now a 4v4, and not the best opportunity for Behemoth to base a strat around a now dead Montaigne. Shizui still alive. He's still got one smoke grenade, of course. Keep in mind, one smoke grenade was, I'd call it wasted, but not completely. Conquer, 
flashing in. He's now trying to see if he can find a Troshi, who's for now still holding CO of us. And he's completely alone with that. He's got two players behind him in another room, but the CEO of us, he's completely alone. 3v3 as Tati finds another kill, but the defuse underground, Atroshi finding the kill against Conker, but will now be killed by Shiz uh, Shizui as the E1D by Lucas is now coming out, and now it's a 2v2. No one is actually gaining too much traction in this. No one is actually able to get the lead. Oh my god, it's Taku still on that evil eye as Maestro is still waiting for his enemy team to push in. MR19 trying to hold off anyone also going in, but he's not going to find anyone yet. Tati with another kill against Shizui and now it is the 1v2. Lucas the last player alive, the defuser on site, he needs to find that 20 seconds left to go. Attackers He's going up there, defuser. he is picking the defuser up but his enemy team completely knows that and he needs to go on site, he needs to find a place to plant that defuser safely, will at least find Tatu and now it's all down to MR19, a 1v1 and Lucas still alive, planting that defuser, 3 seconds left to go, if MR19 pushes right now, he definitely is able to find that kill because what is um, Lucas going to do in that situation? That is just the worst situation for him to be in because if you are in that You've got two choices, plant that diffuser through or try and stop it and get that kill. But MR19 just completely perfectly timing this. If the time is run out, there is no way for your enemy planting that diffuser to actually win the 1v1. Because if he's trying to plant that diffuser, he actually needs to look up to get the kill, therefore stopping that diffuser time and stopping the overtime losing the round in the meantime. Or he could just try to plant that diffuser, of course, but of course, MR19 already looking at him. As soon as he's going to see him, he is going to shoot him and win that round. There is no way at all that Lucas is going to win this 1v1. And of course, we are going to see this with the 2-2 coming out. IGP uh, Academy Holding up strong against IGP Behemoth. They, they won two rounds in the defense already. They are trying to do this with a third one as well. They are not going to try the open area defense. They are going back into the basement. Don't know how much I like that. Seeing that we haven't... I mean, they... We, we've seen two successful defenses of, of already and those two defenses look pretty good. The next one would be open area if we're leaving out the basement, but open area is not your go-to spot, isn't it? So really all you've got left to do is try to win this round on the basement defense, which might not work at all, but it's the only shot you have. So maybe IGP Academy will be able to bring this to the 3-2, but no matter what, they are now sitting on a better defensive start than on border because they were able to get two round wins off this what went wrong the last time what completely went wrong was that i felt like they had the clash just sitting right here in that corner and they had the montane just coming on to the other side of the doorway as well and while the clash was completely holding their enemy team off there was no one completely responding to that and the edge was uh, the clash was just sitting there completely alone hoping that at some point someone would come in to help him but there was no one to come in and help him and he was actually going to die to that shizui now finding the kill against best there's also a troche the Troshi, yes, going to die against, was it Luca? No, I think it was Arizuti. So we are going to sit in a 3v5. This round for now looking much better for IGP Behemoth. Can the strong attack we've seen before, but Jack now dying to Entei. Entei, the last player alive in the attack for IGP Academy, who's not on site. He's also got Tartu with him on the main stairway. Both will now quickly go down again and bring this to the 3 versus 4, which is still significantly more winnable. Because now the Montaigne is gone, that's the main tank, if you would call it that, on your defensive side right now. And still all players are on full health, but now Arizuti is coming out, finding that next kill against Tartu, and right now MR19 and Entei in a 2v4, and they are trying to win this. MR19 at least with his yokai trying to see and spot out any enemy players coming through. 
That means Entei is the only one remaining on short notice on that uh, as an attacking player. Enemy exothermic charge going in. That's another hatch opened up. M19 needs to be careful because CCTV is now opened. He is going to see another drone and that drone is going to be really, really bad for Entei. He now needs to move back. M19 coming forward a little bit. There's another exothermic, or another charge at least coming out. Some grenades being thrown in, but there's still one ADS trying to hold up strong. Flashbang coming through. Will not flash anyone. Entei still staying alive, hoping that someone will come in from behind. And there is actually someone, the bug, trying to push in from behind. And with the bug going in, Entei might be able to still hold this off. E1D will indeed spot him, but still one Grismond mine will go off successfully. Indeed, stunning his enemy player, but there's still the Yokai alive! And he will be able to stun the, uh, uh, the, the Thermite at least for once, but that is not enough to win the round with the stuns alone. But somehow he's finding the kill against Shizui, and now he's bringing this to the 1v2, and that is still one winnable round for MR19. Doesn't have enough charges on the yokai. The yokai will immediately drop. If he would have had enough charges on the yokai, he could have at least tried to delay this as long as possible. But with the lucky kill on the jackal, this is now the 1v2. He needs to swiftly get to what that diffuser. There's still one player staying on the staircase. One player staying with the uh, in the server room. He's at least trying to find that player, but Lucas still getting that next kill and bringing this TV 2 3. IGP Behemoth still staying in this and staying strong. Bring this to the uh, 3 2 with a one round lead. It's not looking too good right now for IGP Academy. Really, not at all. Because, well, mm -mm. it's not looking too bad either, is it? Because they are still holding strong. But losing three rounds to, well, a normal border, uh, a normal basement defense. They could have tried to get the CEO's office twice. And they m might have gotten out of this with a 3-2. Now, Locker's CCTV going in for IGP Behemoth as well. Maestro, Clash, Echo, Bandit, and Jaeger. On the defense, Montaigne, Jekyll, Lion, Thermite, and Zephyr on the attack. We are going to see that Montaigne clash clash again. Which uh, didn't work out for our defenders first. But let's see if it's uh, working out for our second defenders. Which, of course, are now IGP Behemoth. They are leading and they are trying to win the next three rounds to bring this to, uh, well, their... First map win and the 1 1 to go to Clubhouse. Well, and I mean, kill wise, this is still looking really close. Keep in mind, there's still one round that is completely missing the first round, but it's still looking good. Like for the four rounds, those kills are alright. For five rounds, of course, there will be some more in there. But for four runs, this is still looking really, really good. And, uh, well, that shows that both teams are just on the same wavelength, tr length, trying to hold off as well as possible against each other. And, uh, well, seeing that they are both from the same organization, I think IGP is an Italian eSport club, they call themselves. Which, I mean, in general, we can just call that an organization or team. Um... They are going to have this little internal rivalry going on between them. And Tay already on his way inside. And someone wants to be the best IGB, the IGP team, of course. Question is, will that be IGP Academy or Behemoth? Or one of the other four, five teams, four teams in the uh, playoffs for the ESL Italian Championship. Which, four teams out of six in the relegation. That is much! <laughs> but still. Entei already on his way inside. He's trying to do this a little bit more aggressively. But of course he's playing Montaigne. He is of course going to do so. Atroshi as Jekyll not finding anyone. Well at least finding someone. I think that should be... No, not the Clash. Well maybe the Clash. But I came too late to actually spot that up. Hatch now opened up. They could try to make their way into server room. From there on out, try to get into CCTV. Claire Entei will be the first to be seen by Shizui. He's right now just playing as Kalash. 
Exothermic charge going in with that CCTV should be opened up right now. MR19 finding the first kill against Azuti. Shizui still staying alive, still hoping that he can somehow find out any one of his enemy players. Conker at least seeing one. Yokai's is going off, but no one will actually be able to push him because Jack and the rest of the group are still being pushed or drawn towards CCTV and are still trying to get the kill toward there. There's still the echo of course on Konko, still trying to stay alive and do so much damage that he's possible to do. But of course he can just delay that diffuser plant twice. And we got his Tartu now completely successful with planting that diffuser. No one will bring him out of that. Lucas still staying alive on one evil eye, but he will be too late. That diffuser will be planted and this is now going to be the 2v5. Conker staying alive but will be killed by MR19. And Lucas now completely alone. He needs to find an ace to win this and there's still the Montaigne. And in a 1v1, you are not going to be lucky to face a Montaigne. So Lucas taking damage from all sides. MR19 in the end is going to be the one who is finding the kill and bringing this to the 4-4 for IGP Academy. No, uh, 3-3 actually. So, the teams still staying a little bit more, uh, a little bit closer. IGP actually able to keep it up as good as possible. Um, yeah, but they've got 15 seconds left to go to pick this and, uh, three rounds for both to um actually win this and make it to that uh beloved round win three rounds that is i mean in, in games like counter strike three rounds isn't much but keep in mind this isn't counter strike this is rainbow six siege we are moving up one class more maybe even two or three if I do say so myself. Um, Rainbow Six Siege all only has a five Defender round half. So actually having three attack. rounds to win means you need to win most of your half. More than half of the half, actually. And uh, in case of uh, IGP Academy, that means they need to win four rounds of this half. They won the first already. But running four out of five rounds is possible, but so hard to do. So, 3v3, uh, 3 3, a 5v5 yeah, ensuing right now. And, oh wow. <laughs> a uh, 5v5 right now ensuing with the Montaigne. Still in Entei's hand. And um, also the uh, Jäger in there as well. Entei trying to push in as the Montaigne. Just for now, getting upstairs, hoping to find anyone. Of course, he will have a trophy with him. And uh, hope that he can somehow find one of his enemy Dromus. Uh, Dromus. God. So the Jekyll right now, completely behind the Montaigne. Anti already on his way in, will be found by the E1D. But there's a player right, uh, will use his first E1D, but there's one player, Shizui, who will be pushed from two sides. Anti coming in from behind, will find that kill against Shizui. Are uh, Arizuti at least able to find that kill against MR19, bringing this up to a 4v4. Best still on 25 HP, still staying alive. Arizuti right now staying on 20, well, make it 30 HP. And it's not looking too good for Arizuti. Really not at all. But for now he can stay alive as good as possible. Best on his way out uh, downstairs is now in open areas. What was that best? That is definitely not, and I'm going to say it, his best showing. Leaning to the side and throwing one impact nade completely in your face. But of course he will be brought down to the ground by Entei. So uh, he will be picked up as well. So maybe in the end that kind of does work out for him. But still, you don't want to kill yourself like that. So still, that kill is going out. Conker staying alive on his camera. Seeing where that Montaigne is coming from. Spotting him out and two players right behind it. 
Be Thermite going to find the camera. Arizuti with the next kill against Best will be killed by Entei in the meantime. And now it's a 3v3. Entei already in open area. But they still need to find a way onto the side. Oh my god, it's Tatu, Tatu hoping that he can somehow find a kill through the wall. And there is indeed one player that should be... Well, it is Jack on the Legion. He's just waiting for anyone to move around. And he's definitely hurting them. As 1c4 coming out by Conker. Conker hoping he can find a kill upstairs. Won't be able to do so. Exothermic charge going in right now. Atroshi dying to Conker. Exothermic charge will be planted. And Tatu will have to do this together with Ente. But there's still Jack who could try to go in from behind. But with the... Montaigne completely focused on Jack. Tatu is completely alone and he needs to plant that diffuser. Entei might not be there with him. While he is actually coming out, will be there with him. Smokes are thrown. There is Lucas right there in there. He's not going to be able to plant the kill, so it's now a 2v2. Both the uh, Montaigne and the... Uh, what is it? The Thermite are staying alive and is right now all going down to Conker. Conker, who is in a 1v2, finding the kill against Tatu, but now Entei completely alone. 1v1, and Montaigne, if you know him, is a 1v1 machine. Right now, it just goes down to Entei not making any mistakes. Entei staying safe for now. Conker on the diffuser. Entei right behind him, not making any mistakes. Waiting out that Conker will indeed try to kill him in the end. Conker doing the same thing again, but at some point he really needs to defuse through. But of course, Entei can see what Conker is doing, how long he's got to defuse. Entei finding that last knife skill and, uh, knife skill and IGP Academy actually, with a TB3, able to win this next round and bring this TB4-3. And for now, Behemoth needs to win three rounds in a row to actually be able to make this without an overtime. And making it without an overtime will be a hard thing to do because that means you need to hold IGP Academy off of winning just one round. If they win two rounds, that means that IGP Academy is actually going to be able to win the second round and win this best of three as a whole. Which, of course, you want you don't want to happen. Uh, you want to let happen as Behemoth. Tell us office and archives now going in for IGP Behemoth. On the defense, they bring out the Maestro, the Valkyrie, the Vigil. I am definitely seeing a Bandit and a Legion. And if I'm seeing that correctly, although it is not actually set up for now, everyone is at least keeping true to the uh, ban. Which, in the end, in esports, this is all a gentleman's game. You need to, uh, you need to be true to yourself. Which should be why we shouldn't actually rely on anti-cheat systems, but I mean some people just aren't gentlemen, aren't they? But actually, we're at least happy that most of the players aren't cheating and uh, anti-cheats have evolved enough to spot anything out. Ammo 19 with his drone for now still staying alive! And now Rizuti, are you going to try and go inside? No. No he isn't. Oh No. So, 4-3. Every round Acad uh, IGP Academy wins from now on means they can only go to an overtime. That's the worst thing that can happen to them. And IGP Behemoth wasn't able to win any defensive round for now. And if they continue to do so, they aren't able, are going to be able to win this map as a whole. Best trying to open up that window towards CEOs. Throwing down a drone inside it. Trying to see if you can spot anyone inside. For now, that is not going to be the case. Arizuti, for now, also trying to see if he can maybe find the bug sitting outside. You will indeed see him, but not find the kill. Tatu with another kill against Shizui, bringing this all down to a 5v4. Lucas still staying alive on the Maestro. But those evil eyes are not going to be able to do anything for now. Conquer on the Valkyrie. Arizuti, hoping you can find anyone in the elevators, and of course there's still Entei on the Montaigne, and there's no one even on the attacker side even taking some damage. Jack already done to 25 HP, Tatu now being the first one to fall, Arizuti is going to be successful with that kill, but that also means that they now know where that bandit is at, and Entei is just a complete beast 
on that uh, Montaigne and seeing that the Pokemon is actually a beast. Yeah, technically that might be a pun. Not an intended one though. Jack with another kill against Best. And now it is going to be a 2v3. Entei just taking some damage through one goo mine. There's another one going to be set up as well. Conquer. Hoping he can come in from behind. He will be spotted by that uh, Jekyll, of course. That second ping will come through. But doesn't mean that Conquer will actually get killed from up above. Conquer still staying alive, still kicking. Seeing the next player will take out MR19. That means the Diffuser is now on the ground. The last uh, E1D is actually coming through. But Entei already on the side, finding the lesion, but will actually die to him. But now it's all down to Atroshi, and look at the half on Jack. Atroshi's still on full health, and all he needs to do is have one lucky shot against his enemy player. But there's still 30 seconds left to go, and he has no idea where that last enemy is at. So he needs to be really, really careful. At least he's hearing where one lesion mine is going to drop off. He's now dropping down, well, at least hear his last enemy. But it's still no really good idea of where he's at. And right now the lesion coming in from behind. I don't know that he's actually hearing this. And now the 1v1 is going to be the case for Atroshi. And we remember how Jack just played this. This is going to be a really hard thing to do. Jack coming out. The diffuser already being planted. Jack finding that last kill. And Behemoth finding the first defensive round and bringing this to be 4-4. Four, four. But as always, Having this 1v1 stand against yourself with you still having to plant that diffuser is not the way you actually want to play this. They are, if you're in a 1v1 and you still need to plant that diffuser with s not enough time on your hands, yes, you are just going to, uh, to lose that. And that's the second time we've seen that and we are going to see it the uh, third time we are going to see that and the fourth time and the fifth time. You are not going to win a 1v1 short on time with the diffuser not even planted. So, for a brief moment, we saw the Lord and Savior on Conquer. That is a dream for a later round. For now, this map is going to be worth too much for him to pick the um, Tachanga Echo coming out for him. Castle, Dog, Bandit, and Ma Maestro in there too. Montaigne on Entei, Jekyll, Blind, Thermite, and Ash going in for IGP Academy as Jackers well. So, 4-2-4. Four four. Still a draw. Still even ground, but in this half, IGP Academy actually able to win two rounds already. So it's looking better for them than for Behemoth. Shizui as Doc, setting up hoping he can find out where anyone is coming from. Setting up one bulletproof camera through this hallway and that is one good placement on that. Should spot out one or two players actually. And enable one player who might be playing this in the um, elevator or lift if you're American uh, to find a kill, a sneaky kill against one player or two. Conquer right now the echo that is going to take that position but needs to be careful. Uh, well, not on that position. If he would have stayed on the uh, hatch there would have been the possibility for uh, Atroshi Okay, he's not inside the building. That is just messing with me. To come in from down below and find that kill. Lucas together with Jack. Right now just staying safe. Another evil eye being planted. Best already on his way inside, but will be seen by Arizuti. Will immediately find that first kill against the Ash. Best completely not reckoning that there could be a bandit around the corner. That bandit is of course going to find that kill. Is going to take that kill with ease, but he needs to stay alive for now because he still has a Montaigne right behind him. C4 coming out. Entei will stay safe against that. Arizuti's position is now completely known by the whole enemy team. E1D also coming out. He will be detected by that. But of course, there is still going to be the Echo. He's going to try to do something with his yokai. On the attack, there's still the bandit down in the safe in the vault. Question is, is he safe down there? Entei already coming in from behind. We'll see him. There's still the Jekyll. And we just see Arizuti completely getting slaughtered in a 4v4. Now ensuing for both IGP teams. Conquer is still saying in the elevator. Jack hoping he can find anyone in the hallway with his evil eye. They didn't even need 
the bulletproof camera, but they still have it for protective reasons. Entei now coming up, and now this might be Conker's chance to try and get a kill. Entei will at least find him. That first Yokai shot will go off. Entei for now still staying safe. Conker needs to be careful, but Luke is coming in from behind, finding that kill. Bring this to a, to a 3v4. The Jekyll right behind that Montaigne should have also been spotted. Atrochi just moving around the corner from down below will find that echo, and it's exactly what I've said. Completely predicted that. Just didn't think it would happen, but I said that could happen. <laughs> I'm still calling that a prediction. Shizui as Doc, still staying alive. Healing himself up. Lucas with another kill against Atroshi. MR19 now moving upstairs. E1D is in their hands. Lucas still staying on the ground. The pistol, the 5.7, needs to be picked up by the Thermot, but he will be killed by Lucas. In the meantime, Lucas still staying alive with the diffuser on the ground. MR19 will pick that up. It's a, f a 1v3. And he somehow needs to be able to do it, but Shizui pick, uh, peeking around the corner, getting that next kill and bring this to the 4-5. Match point now coming out for IGT Behemoth. Well, actually, map point. And if uh, IGP Academy isn't able to win this, we are going to see Clubhouse as our third map for today. And while Border was going pretty well, and Bank was just plagued with technical and uh, human errors all along in the beginning, I think Clubhouse, if we're going there, should be our final suit, which shouldn't find the perfect balance, well, should find the perfect balance between the two, which would be no mistakes at all. Meaning, like, on border. I'm saying it is going to go better than the beginning of this map. Lockers CCTV, now going out for IGP. There's a lesion and alibi. Actually, no, I was disconnected on border. <laughs> There's a lesion and alibi, a Valkyrie, a bandit, and a maestro on the Lockers CCTV defense. That didn't go well for any one of the two teams. So I'm interested to see why Behemoth thinks it is going to go well for them. Now, the Montaigne's still going out on the enemy team. They're still going to be the uh, Lion, the Jekyll, and the Thermite. But now, we are going to see Maverick going in on best. He was trying to do it as Ash earlier. It didn't work at all. He was killed and picked off immediately. Now he's trying to do his best as Maverick. And let's see how well the newest operator of the bunch is going to do for, uh, play for best. And the kills, keep in mind, after 8 rounds, are just looking strong. 10 on Arizuti. The rest of his team just a little bit off, but also 10 on Ente, who's playing as Montaigne the second half. 8 on OMG Tatu and 7 on Atroshi. Like I already uh, always tend to say, kills mean as much as the rank. Like nothing, but you still need to have them. Like if you're not getting kills. Yes, you can still be a use to your team, but if your whole team is not getting the kills, doesn't give you anything. But for now, they are getting the kills and it's looking good for them. So let's see how well they are going to continue with this. Shizui right now just playing this in the elevators on the second floor. He's got Arizuti right below him. Right. Trying to do this between the elevators and open area. Entei already on his way in. He's got one player shooting three right behind him. That should be Tatu, who's now opening up there. will at least find where that bandit is staying at. Bandit now moving upstairs. Entei therefore still staying safe. But Arizuti finding the first kill against Best. And Best immediately falling out of the game. MR19 also having struggles against the bandit. And Ar Arizuti! C4 is not going to find a kill, but there's still Shizui with the next one. 2v5, and this match point is looking mighty good for Behemoth. And this might be the time that we say, yes, this is going to Clubhouse. This is going to go to the German map, the only German map in the ranked map form, mind you. Uh, Coast is still, not Coastline, but uh, like Coast Guard. It's still a German map, but it's not in the rank, in it. But I think... I'm going to see my home turf in the third map that should come through soon. For that, IGP Academy still needs to lose this, but they can still win. It's just a 1v4 for Atroshi, and when I say just, I mean, he's not going to do this, is he? One kill against Shizui in his back.
still on half of his health. That needs to be enough for three kills. In the meantime, they haven't actually gotten over any of those Attacker, legion mines. Luke is just waiting for those legion mines to go off. And, well, if no one is going to walk over those... For now, those legion mines are just waiting for a trophy at this point. Smoke's coming out, a trophy on site, trying to plant that diffuser, but will be seen by the evil eye on Jack, and Jack just doing the most he can, finding the last kill against the trophy, bringing this to round 10, and IGP Behemoth able to win this, and we are going to go onto Clubhouse, the German map. I am excited to go onto my home turf, and I will see you all back after a short break. We are going into Clubhouse after a 7-6 on border for uh, IGP Academy and a, what was it, on bank, the 4-6 uh, the, the, the for um, uh, IGP Behemoth. So, Clubhouse, now our last map of today and there should be no technical issues on both sides, don't worry. I uh, have not forgot to actually set up the map wins. At least I thought I didn't, but apparently they changed back, which I think they did the last time as well, but I, because I'm pretty sure I set them up uh, completely correct. But Jekyll and Maverick being the first two operators out, let me just quickly sh check. Yes, I am in game. Not doing that mistake twice. So uh, yeah, IGP Academy. Sitting now with uh, two attacking operators already banned against them in the beginning. Maverick and Jekyll, we are not going to see those two. Jekyll, of course, and Clubhouse also with the new update. One of the better maps for Romers is not going to come out. Nira is going to be our third ban. And IGP Behemoth right now with the last ban for our defensive side are going to bring out the Clash. So, uh, no clashing with the shields like we've seen the last time. But still, let's see how this is going to go. This is definitely going to be our last map, but seeing that our first two maps were so close together, I'm really excited how this is going to work out. I'm really hoping that this again is going to the 7-6 overtime. I'm just not, right now, I'm not sure to who I should root because they both teams are just amazing, incredible and so close together. And I mean, theoretically, Vincent could have tried to give me a little bribe with his $5 donation, but seeing that both teams are from IGP, that little bribe doesn't actually go through, does it? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a bribe, it's just just a nice gesture, so thank you Vincent again for that. So, CCTV cash going out for IGP uh, Behemoth. They bring up the Maestro, Bandit, Legion, Castle and Jäger. And, uh, oh, Rupert called me handsome. <laughs> Attackers need to locate and as many on the other side, can. on the attack, we are going to see the Thermite, the Hibana, the Buck, the Capital and the Zofia. So, those are the five operators on both sides that are now going to try to attack or defend. And with our newly new addition to Clubhouse construction right here, I'm excited to see how this is going because I definitely love this new addition. Because it made Clubhouse not only more balanced, but it looks so much better now. Really does, does it? It looks better, it plays better. You don't, like, before you had this one spot down here for Clubhouse, and that, does, that just didn't work out at all. Now you have two sides you can actually try to defend, one being CCTV, one being uh, Badroom, and those can actually work out. The Thermite now on MR19, a viable operator for any attacking side on Clubhouse. Placing his Claymore through that little droning hole. Honestly, I see myself in that play, it hurts. Because it's literally what I'm doing 24-7 because, well in my case, I'm just too lazy to actually think of another place for my Claymore. He's just doing that because. Because it's probably a good place to place your Claymore, isn't it? So, 
4v5. Best actually already throwing in his impact nades, trying to get one or two players already disorientated. We'll find Jack in the meantime, then headshot will completely go through. Lucas still alive on side, will have Shizui with him, but they need to be careful because MR90 has already opened up and will find the kill against Arizuti. That's the uh, castle falling to the ground. Shizui at least finding the kill against Atroshi. Bringing this all to a 4v3, but now the Capital will throw his smoke and his fire in. Will try to bait out any of the enemy players. Conker will run right inside of his crosshair. That kill will immediately fall into his hands. Lucas still staying alive in CCTV. Will hear that the diffuser is actually going to be planted, but it's still a 4v2. Shizumi coming in, finding one kill, but will be taken out by Entei in the meantime. And now it's on to Lucas. Lucas, who at least finds MR19, but still needs to find Best. Best, who will take him out in the end and bring this to the 1 0. IGP Academy winning the first round. And uh, for now, looking better on Clubhouse. But it still means nothing. IGP Behemoth can still come back. It is just one round. They need to get back behind. It is still looking good for both teams. CCTV Cash Room now going in for IGP. Again, Maestro, Bandit, Jaeger, Castle, Pulse, and well, that's it. And Montaigne, Twitch, Thermite, Sophia, and Buck. And if you've missed any of those first two maps, I really, I, I'm going to t tell you this right now. Go and check the VOD that is going to be uploaded tomorrow. I'm going to announce it on my Twitter. My YouTube channel is the exact name that uh, this Twitch channel is. So if you've actually missed those first maps, go check them out on the VOD that is going to come out tomorrow. Because those were two amazing games and you definitely need to see those. Shizui. Right now, setting up his band. He's got Conker as uh, Jaeger right with him. Lucas on my extra. Of course, they bring out Jack on the pulse again. Jack was playing as Legion before. No, they, they had a Legion, but I don't think it was Jack. But whoever it was that didn't work out got killed immediately in the beginning of the round. And without anything he could actually do. Or is it. What? Are is it actually trying to close the uh, garage which I don't know how much that is going Attackers to give him. The bomb Action phase the right now commencing. They bring out the thermite again to try and attack. They've got the twitch to try and do some anti-utility work and on the most important reinforced wall that twitch should do the trick just fine. Of course was Maverick banned. I think so. Troshi finding the first kill against Arizuti. There's no way for me to quickly check if uh, Maverick's been except for tapping out, which I don't want to do right now, actually. So Arizuti falling, a second player already being drowned out. That is Jack B right now. He's just staying safe. It's just hoping that he isn't pushed. He at least can see where Atroshi is going to come from. Shock drone is going to be placed. Jack just waiting for that Twitch to come around. But he knows Twitch is right now on a Shock drone. Will at least lose 20 HP. Will run right into the second player. But the second player won't get the kill. Jack still staying alive. And I don't know who, wa who that was downstairs. That should be Stone. Who, by the way, I haven't mentioned, is now the newest addition for IGP Academy. Atroshi somehow staying alive in that. A hat was visible longer than it should have been, and he should have been dead in there. But Stone, for now, missing the important shots against Jack. Lucas at least finding that claim up, but will be taken out in the meantime by Entei, who's just got such a great placement right there, and really baits him out with that claimer. Jack finding a next kill against the Troji at least. They now know where that pulse is. Pulse going up through the garage. The thermite exothermic charge already planted. They are trying to open that up. Right there, or are they? No, they aren't. I had that wrong. Entei on his way inside. Best already inside of construction, hoping that he can someone, uh, somehow find a kill. There's still one evil eye right behind them. They aren't going to be able to destroy that at all. Shizui still staying alive as Bandit. He's got the cover through the bomb. He's going to find the headshot, but Entei already inside fighting Shizui. Now it's one minute left for Jack to finally or somehow win a 1v2. Smoke and fire coming through. Jack needs to move forward, but Entei is already looking at him. C4 is coming out, will not find a kill. Jack completely wasting a C4, is at least knowing where that Sophia is. Is aiming around the corner, trying to get that kill, but Best is going to outbest him in the end. 
finding the last kill against Jack the Pulse is going to fall through the ground. And with that, IGP Academy will be able to get that second kill. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to believe you that he's a trailer because he could be a troll as well, but I'm at least going to, uh, like, get him out for 14 minutes because that are too many messages, <laughs> really. So, uh, Fatal, I'm just going to believe you for now. So, 2 now going in for um, IGP Academy. They bring out the Blitz. That is going to be switched to the Capitao. Hibana, Thermite, Zephyr and Buck going out as well. Maestro, Cavera, Echo, Bandit and Jaeger on the defense. They are now going down to the Church, Attack which I've said it in the beginning, isn't can. the best defense you really want to play on. Playing this in the church, that, that's really bringing us back to the beginning of the, uh, of this map and you aren't going to be able to win defensive rounds down there. Well, maybe you are with blue stairs now in your hands, but probably not. Still, they are going to try it. Maybe they should have tried the bad rim defense. Maybe. Because if even if this does work out, let's say, theoretically, that the church defense is going to work out for them right now. They are bringing this to the 2-1. If CCTV isn't going to work out for them at all, or any other defense as well, this is going to be the 4-1 in the first half. Yes, they can still try to recover from that. Because, uh, well, IGP Academy had the 4-1 on border as well, and it still got to an overtime. But, um, well, doesn't mean that, uh, doesn't mean that they are actually going to uh, do that, does it? Doesn't also mean that this is actually going towards the 4-1. Shizui Escavera right now just on his way upstairs. He's got the bandit on Arizuti right behind him. Right now upstairs they are just trying to get some kills against players based on these of here. Right now just droning in. He's not going to be able to find someone but Entei getting the kill against Arizuti. Flash thing coming out as well. Not able to spot out a single player. Shizui is still alive as Kavara. Scott players down below. But isn't going to be able to spot them out. Shots coming in from behind. Shizui is still staying alive. It's now going to logistics office. Best right now. As Sophia. Shot mates going up upstairs. And he's still hoping that he can somehow find a way inside. Jack, together with Lucas and, uh, well, who's it, Conker, still staying alive on site. But Shizui, that's the player I'm most concerned about because he's right now just trying to play this in construction. He's been spotted out by Troshi by so many players on the enemy side and they are going to be successful. Oh, that's a beautiful filter. They are going to be successful to find that kill. Is that filter going to be above everything now? Um, yeah. Can somebody call, like, Ubisoft? Because I'm pretty sure this isn't how the game is supposed to look. But still, Atroshi on his way inside. The game is looking all right for him, so she, he should have he should have no problem with that at all. Lucas, as the maestro, is still hoping that he's getting pushed at some point. Jack, seeing that Stone finds the, uh, the first kill against Conker. Concussions are going through. Jack will be stunned completely. Lucas' position should be known by that uh, drone. Atroshi will crawl towards him, find him, find that kill, find the headshot. Jack on site, finding two kills as well. Trying to find the third one as well against Best, who right now is just waiting Jack out. Jack coming forward will be hit hard. He's down to 25 HP. He sh someone needs to do this in a 1v4. Diffuser will be planted. The Ibana just waiting for him to push around. Will come through the wall. He's down now down to 25 HP. But Jack already in the red. He somehow needs to do this without losing s too much help. Diffuser planted and the time is just running against him. A 1v3 and he's got one health. Atroshi coming around the corner, finding that last kill. And with that, IGP Academy is going to be able to pick up the 3-0. And even the church defense isn't, uh, defense isn't looking good for Behemoth. Fourth round. 
Still two rounds to go in this half, but already IGP Academy was able to win this first half and uh, bring this to a 3-0. And uh, they are trying to indeed bring this to the 5-0 in the first half. And if they are successful in doing so, I don't think that um, Behemoth stands much of a chance and much of a fight against them in the second half. Behemoth somehow needs to try and find one or two rounds, at least one round, at least one, in the next half, because they are probably not going to be able to get a flawless half out there. So, 3-0 now going in. And, uh, well, LGP Behemoth again on the CCTV cash defense. But, they still... The bedroom defense that is completely overlooked. And if no one is going to actually fight on that uh, bedroom defense, I don't know how much they can actually do with that. Ten seconds left for insertion. Because the CCTV is just not working out for them. Lucas. As Maestro is setting up his next evil eye, Shizui, hoping there's someone coming upstairs. Ammo 19 from downstairs. For now, not able to see anyone. He's rappelling up. He's got players in front of him. He could try to again blow through, but for that he actually needs a uh, anti-utility operator. Or actually best opening up the hatch right in front of him and that with that hatch open they can try to use their impacts they can try to use their concussion aids to just open up the wall to just get rid of the bandit batteries and just try to plant that exothermic charge one player that's the bug on the other side is at least going to die jack finding the next skill against best and this is now a 3v5 and it's now looking much better for the side of igp behemoth and Tain right now repelling just trying to find a kill from up there and that is one of those positions where you might actually try and pick the blackbeard because if you can successfully plant that diffuser on site a blackbeard on exactly that, uh, that position will do much more work but the thing is you don't actually get the utility of the capital which of course is also the reason why capital has been picked mr19 now on his way up will be able to see no one for now but Atroshi coming from the back side finding one kill at least but will be pushed through construction and that is Shizui who's at least trying to move somewhat more forward through construction there's no one actually on site for now and they need to get on site if they want to stop their enemy team going in Lucas he's got one evil eyes uh, C4s are being thrown those C4s are actually doing nothing the castle trying to get some kills from down below conquer finding one kill with his uh, gas canister will at least take MR19 out there's the diffuser completely underground they still need to find that atroshi finding the kill against Shizui and there's right now just one player on site and if they can find that player they are still able to maybe even plant that diffuser Atroshi coming around the corner will be immediately taken out by Lucas. Lucas completely low in health. Will still find the kill against Entei and bring this towards the 3-1. IGP Behemoth at least winning one round and maybe that is their lucky round. They need to win to at least be able to stay alive in this round uh, map for a little bit longer. Fifth round of this half is going to start in, well, this exact second. And for now, IGP Behemoth is still with two rounds back and they don't want to give a three round lead to IGP Academy because a three round lead can swiftly have been brought uh, to a, well, map win of course. So the Capital, the Bana, the Thermite, the Zephyr and the Buck on IGP side for the attack on the defense church arsenal. We are going to see Maestro, Doc, Valkyrie, Bandit and Jäger. The Buck now being switched to Thatcher. We've got Conker switching towards the Legion. Stone playing as Thatcher. Still staying on him, but he's on the sixth pick. Thinking about switching, but he's not actually doing it. So, 3 1. We've got two hard breaches, one soft breach, and one anti utility. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. How bad can this go? 
Church defense going out again for AGP Behemoth. Didn't work at all the first time. Maybe it is going to work the second time. But the thing is, they are still overlooking the bedroom defense. Might not be the best one, but it might be worth a shot to at least try to bring this to a 3-2. But maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe they are going to be able to bring this to the 3-2 right now. Maybe. For that to happen, they need to really be careful. Shizui just setting up his dog. They've got to go. Arizuti upstairs just setting up his reinforcements. Five seconds left before insertion. Luku's downstairs for now. And Attackers we are actually going to see the action phase. So, last action phase of this half where IGP Academy are going to be attacking. Emma 19 already inside with his drone trying to spot up his, out his enemy team. Lucas with his, well, secondary shotgun still setting up. I must say, I think I like Mira's and Jekyll's shotgun a little bit more in comparison to, well, the Bailiff. Seeing that to actually pronounce the shotgun, you have to say Bay, which is a complete no and a complete red flag for me. I don't want to say Bay at all in my casts, and I've said it three times already. To be honest, two times it's actually my fault. Jack's still trying to keep that edge open from down below, trying to get those x Kyruses out of his way, but those x Kyruses will actually go through. Troshi trying to set up the third hedge open. He's opened up two already. The third one will come soon. Arizuti still trying to hold off main stairwell. Will go up, but will be fought by NJ. NJ just laying on the ground, hoping he's going to find an enemy on the other side, and he's going to find that kill. One EMP net thrown by Stone. He's just trying to spot out his enemy team, but for now he's not going to be able to do sh so. Shizui playing as Doc. He's still in the tunnel, still waiting. Lucas still playing as the Maestro, still on that camera. Still waiting to see an enemy. But his enemies are going to come downstairs at some point. Conquer is going to hear that exothermic charge being planted. Some mates by the ZP are coming through, at least baiting up some ADS charges. Lucas finding one kill against Stone. Conquer just standing up, hoping he can find one player. Atroshi finding another kill. Shizui still standing alive. Uh, Conquer will see at least Best coming out his way. Will take that kill for him, but there's still two players right behind him. Conquer needs to stay careful because he's completely alone. Jack upstairs trying to help him a little bit. Will find the kill against Entei, but Conquer will fall to the ground. Needs to be picked up immediately. It's a 2v2 if they can. Shizui's still alive, and as soon as he's going to find Conker, he can use his stim pistol to pick him up, which is their plus point on the dog. We'll actually miss Conker! Come on, Shizui, he's laying still on the ground. There you go. There you go, yes. But in the meantime, Jack is going to die, so we are staying in a 2v2. Of course, the two last enemy players of IGP Behemoth knew where that Jäger was going to stand. They are going to find that kill and they are going to bring it to a 2v2. So, Shizui playing this on Arsenal. He's got the drone right in front of him. Conker right in church will take some damage. Seven seconds to go. He will be taken up by Troshi. So now it's all down sh to sh Shizui. Shizui completely alone. In a 1v2 will be taken out by Atroshi in the end. And Atroshi getting that last kill will bring IGP Academy to the 4-1. And well, with that... AGP Academy actually able to snatch the win over that first half. Four one, and uh, wow, AGP playing this on a Thatcher, a Blitz, a Thermite, a Buck, and whoever is going to be the fifth player, uh, Zephyr. That is AGP. A behemoth of course in the attack now on the defense church arsenal we are going to see an Ela, a jaeger lesion vigil and an alibi which the pulse is going to switch in for the vigil still the church arsenal room defense which didn't work out at all best i switching again which didn't work out at all for igp behemoth um Maybe, just maybe, Church Arsenal is going to work out for Academy, but they need to win those next two rounds. They want to win those next two rounds. Bring it to the 6-1. If they are actually Avengers able to do this, they will win uh, Clubhouse. Well, 
in quite the dominant fashion, considering how Border and Bank actually have been going. A 7-6 on Border and a 4-6 uh, loss for them on a Bank. But, like I said, Church, one of the hardest sites to actually defend. Attackers have located Might not be the place you want to stay at. MR19 trying to find that last drone downstairs. Ten seconds left before insertion. Best up there is the pulse in garage. Five seconds left. Let's see what he's trying to see. Thing is, he will be seen by Shizui. But he Attackers knows that because for Attackers some reason the they have off. spotted him right there. So Best knows that he's been spotted in garage and he knows that he's definitely not going back in there again. Drones are now slowly coming in. Ante just trying to play this in blue stairs. Just trying to hold up. Jack slowly moving forward trying to drone out anyone who might stay in garage. But the Pulse of course has already changed positions. Atroshi still playing this upstairs right here in the bedroom. And I think he's completely alone on the second floor. There's no one actually with him. But there's one player, or actually one player and a drone. Downstairs trying to slowly move in. Arizuti on the back, already down to central hallway. We'll try to get down the main staircase and try to see if he can find anyone. Maybe even through the floor right below him. He will at least take out that first camera. But that drone right in front of him will be taken out by Troshi. So at least the back on Azutri... Uh, Azutri? Arizuti knows where Atroshi is. We'll push him. There's two players right in front of that Jäger. Jäger will take some damage. Atroshi right now down to 50 HP. And he needs to be careful because he's getting pushed right now. He will take out Arizuti in the meantime. Lucas will be killed by Entei. And right now we are going to go in a 5 versus 3. And keep in mind this is definitely not what IGP Behemoth wants. Of course you want to win. But if you're already sitting back on a 4-1, you can't actually afford to lose. Jack and Shizui now pushing a Troshi from two sides. Flashbang going in. Troshi now sitting in the bathroom will be seen by one player. The second player will come out in any minute now. Fresh Mac going in for the Jäger. Will push out. Has a general idea where that Ash could be, but that flashbang is going to hit him hard. He's still on half of himself. Is going to find the Ash, and right now, there's still Jack alive. Five versus two, and this might be the match point already. At least Jack will take out a Troshi. Conquer will find Entei in the meantime, and this is now a 3v2. Maybe still a possible round right here for IGP Behemoth, but it is looking quite bad for them. If they can't do this, this is, like I said, the match point. So, Stone just sitting back. Best hoping he can somehow find a player right there against him. Sensor activated. For now, won't be able to do so. Conquer, already blown in, will take some damage by that goo mine. Will at least be able to take that out. Jack from upstairs. Just right now trying to see if he can maybe find anyone. Conquer taking some more damage by Goo Mines. Just tanking those mines. Jack already on his way through but there's still MR19. Just waiting for him to push. Has two players in front of him. We'll find two. And bring the six rounds into the hands of IGP Academy. Well and if everyone is just lining up for you to kill them. You are just going to take the kills that are going to be given to you on a silver platter. He is going to take those kills with open arms and bring the 5-1 towards IGP Academy. IGP Academy therefore sitting on a match point and not even one but four. Four match points and they just need one round of those four to win. If they can't, they can't find that one round, it is not looking too good for IGP Behemoth. So, Ela, Jäger, Castle, Bandit, Alibi, now on the CCTV cache defense. Thatcher, Glass, Thermite, Buck, and Zephyr going out for the uh, attack. Attackers and need they to need to find a workaround that strong defense of IGP Academy. Because for now, that is a four-round lead. And if you can't win those four rounds in a row... 
yes, you are not going to win against your enemy team. They bring out the Thatch and the Thermite at least, so it's for me clear they want to blow through that wall, but maybe they want to do something else. Maybe they want to surprise their enemy and actually go in from construction? Like blow open that wall or one of those two walls. Not too sure which one. Probably that one right here, like they want to decide, go in through that window, you've got two, maybe even with uh, the bedroom, three ways into um, construction. Then open that wall towards cash and open that wall towards CCTV and you've got a way to distract your enemies to push in from two sides. You could try to just take uh, cash room or CCTV at that point and just try to plant that diffuser successfully. It's all about just trying to split up, but not splitting up too much. But of course, the question still remains, what are they going to do? In Conker's case, he's going to drop down, completely miss his opportunity to throw in a flashbang. Check the his thrown right now in as well, will be immediately seen by Best, who's right now just waiting for them to push through. Stone on the alibi, just hoping to see another player, and MR19 just peeking around the corner. Trying to find a kill in construction. Arizuti already taking some damage, but might have been some damage done towards him by uh, dropping down. Question no, no, no. It's definitely damaged by Atroshi. He's right now just playing ring around the rosy with that drone, and I think he hasn't been spotted. But also, he doesn't have a way outside, so that bug is staying alive for now. No, uh, but Jack definitely isn't. Stone finding that first kill will just stay off that second player. Second player dying by Atroshi. Conker taking some more damage by the Ela. The Ela will stay alive for now. We'll put Conker to the ground. Will be detected, of course, but put everything to a 5v2. Lucas and Shizui, now the last two players alive. And they need to somehow try this to do in a 2v4 situation. So, Shizui now trying to go in. Lucas on the other side will be killed by MR19. And now it's all down to Shizui. He needs to find four kills to bring this to the 5 2 to still have a chance to win this. And he will not. Best will come outside, find the headshot, and actually bring this to the 6 1. So we say GG well played. It truly was a great game by both.